Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and no, this is not a coffee bar video, but I think I need one. Alright guys, first thing I gotta complain about today is the weather. You probably just finished watching my South Carolina series, probably I think it was four or five videos. It was an average of 100 degrees. We actually were in Charleston, South Carolina, it was 104 degrees. Usually this time of year, early September here in southwestern Ontario, the temperatures normally like summertime. I mean, it's, it's high 70s, low 80s, mid 80s. Past week, I've been wearing hoodies. It has been cold and it smells like hunting season. Anybody that hunts knows what hunting season smells like. And that's what it's been smelling like. So, today I get up, I got shorts, flip flops and a t-shirt on because it's right back to 80 degrees. That's to be expected here. Anyway, that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about Nathan's Horton Summit. Now, I bought this crossbow many, many, many years ago. Shoots 230 feet per second, which is not very fast. Uh, most bows nowadays are three or th 300 or more. But, it has slayed some bucks. One. Not two, one. I said that plural, just for the effect. Um, yeah. Anyway, this particular bow here has a red dot sight on top of it. Runs on a nickel sized battery. It's got nine different settings for the brightness of the red dot inside. It is not a scope. It does not magnify the distance. And on the side, here's the dial marked one through six. I would never go to six. But that's the yardage. So one is 10 yards, two is 20 yards, three is 30 yards. And basically, when the deer comes in or the animal comes in that you're hunting, if, he's at, if you're already set at 10 yards, one click gives you the 20 depending on what yardage he's at, you might go to 30. Anything past 30 with this bow, I probably, he'd have to be a big buck for me to shoot past 30 yards. It's just, it's not the fastest bow. That's, that's all I'm saying. They got a lot of chance to jump this arrow. So today, since it smells like hunting, well, it used to smell like hunting season, it's now back to smelling like summertime and beach weather. We're going to go to the farm and see if we can sight this in. Let's go. Oh. Alright guys, we're here at the farm. We're going to start off at 10. I got my small camera down there. Put you back down here. Now I know I should be shooting from a platform. Again, I apologize for the wind. But uh, we're going to start off at 10. And we're going to see what happens from there. Alright guys, that one was right on. Uh, when I was putting in the field point, I heard a little crack. What that was, was the uh, the glue that holds the insert that you screw the field point into came loose, so I lost the field point in the foam. That shot wasn't bad, we're going to do another one at 10 before we back up. Arrow number two lost the field point. Is what it is. We're gonna back up. Once again, guys, I apologize for the wind here. I didn't think it was gonna be windy today. It's not the most ideal conditions to sight in a bow. But uh, as you can see down there, it's 
now 20 yards. We just shot a 10. Two were right on. Now, both shots were just a tick to the right. They both hit the yellow, but they were a tick to the right. That can be me moving. I don't shoot from a platform when I'm hunting, so I'm trying to do this open-handed. Technically, I should be doing this from a platform when I'm sighting in the boat because then you know it's true. When have you ever known me to do things the right way? Anyway, let's see what 20's got before I run out of field points. All right, guys, real quick. Like I mentioned back at the bar, on the side, there's this dial. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. I don't go much past 30. It's got to be an awful big buck and a clean shot, no wind before I go past 30 with this bow. So I had it set on 10. We know 10's on the money. Let's see what 20 is. Turn this to the 2, which tilts the scope. It's now set on 20. waving around all right guys well three for three lose a field point I don't shoot this foam target with a broadhead it would just sail right on through as it stands now as you see the arrows going in this far so with a broadhead it would just go clean through but three for three I think I gotta go buy some glue let's back up to 30 and see if we're still on the mark All right guys, 30 yards into the wind. Again, I should be on a stable platform, but I'm not. That would look pretty good. Guys, let's go have a look at what we got here so that was 30 yards I know when I'm aiming it I'm up and down side to side which is why you need a stable platform so when I'm shooting if I'm at least level with the target but left or right by a little bit I'm okay with that because I know I'm the one making the air not the bow so let's have a look at where we're at there we are. As you can see, I'm level with the center, but off to the side by a bit. But I'm level with the center. So I know that two inches is me, not the bow. Good news, saved my field point. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Let me explain the importance of being sighted in properly. Again, like I said, I'm happy with that. I am level with the center dot, just left or right a bit, which is my error. More practice on my part will bring that in freehand as opposed to using a platform. I understand that. But the reason that you practice, 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 the last thing you want to do is wound that animal and have it take off and last for days before it expires. No suffering. This is the idea. No suffering. I want a clean shot, expire the animal right off the bat, and there's no suffering. This is the ethics in hunting. Last thing you want to do is shoot it in the rear quarter, then have to trail it for five miles while it suffers at five miles. Clean shot. If you don't have a clean shot, don't take it. It's that simple. All right, so I'm going to try and give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at through this scope here. I'm not sure how well I'm going to get this camera to focus on it, but Here's what, we did. Here's what I'm looking at. And you didn't get to see the red dot inside there because as I went to turn it back on, the battery died. At least I got it sighted in before the battery died. And that's my fault. That's last year's battery. I haven't bought a new one. But it's early in the day. I don't have much else to do. You want to see what I'm looking at? Oh yes. Oh yes. And 
y'all know I don't leave home without them so I think we're gonna try fishing a little bit all right guys that's gonna do it for sighting in the crossbow I didn't hunt deer at all last year but if you put your stuff away properly chances are it's gonna be good when you bring it out again so that bow has sat for approximately two years I did put some wax on the string so it didn't dry out and uh, it's still on the mark I'm the one that's off I didn't show you any fishing why because I didn't catch anything that's two days in a row I went yesterday didn't bring my camera or nothing just thought I'd go try and catch a couple of fish nada anyway that's all I got for today's video that's how I sight in my crossbow again I want to make clean ethical shots I don't shoot past 30 you have to shoot according to your ability as well as your equipment's ability and that bow again I think it's around 230 feet per second which is not fast so that's all I got for today's video that's how I sight in my crossbow always practice always practice and that's it. That's all I got for today. I hope you all enjoyed that. See you on the next one. Later. penetration I got going there I think I need to get back home and finish that coffee I, I made that coffee just for this video it's still sitting on the bar